I'm Richard Miller, commander with the San Diego Sheriff's Department, and I'm here to talk about a significant change in our policy regarding incoming mail for all our inmates that are housed in the San Diego, San Diego County Jail System. Uh, the sheriff recognizes the importance uh, of uh, allowing inmates to write and how and it's, it's an inexpensive way for families to maintain close relationships with those who are incarcerated. However, after careful consideration and consultation with the sheriff's legal advisors, he's authorized and approved a change in our policy. And that change is effective September 1st, 2012. We will no longer accept incoming public correspondence to inmates in, in the San Diego County Jail. And what that means is all incoming letters will not be accepted. The only acceptable form will be postcards or electronic mail messages, which is also known as email. Any incoming letters will be returned to sender. Uh, historically, we have always accepted incoming letters, and historically, it has always been a problem and an issue uh, with mail coming in. There have been numerous cases and attempts by those, unfortunately, um, in the public to send in contraband, drugs, and even weapons. We've had cases of hypodermic needles being placed inside of letters, which obviously is not safe for our staff as well as, as our inmates in custody. So after careful consideration, the sheriff decided uh, those security issues and those concerns outweighed the need to have incoming letters. And he came up with an alternative way uh, for families to still write and maintain correspondence with their loved ones, and that's via postcards. And we are informing all our inmates via uh, postings in the modules. And what that means is every module where we house inmates, we place a written posting up on the, on, the, on the board or on the windows, letting them know that the change and the requirements of the change, the effective date of the change, and all the issues that are pertaining to this change in policy. For the visitors or people coming to visit, we will also post that notification uh, in our lobbies so that they are aware of the change. There are some guidelines to the type of postcards that can be allowed inside our facilities. Postcards should be no more than four inches by six inches. They should not contain photos of nudity, gang violence, explicit images, uh, suggestive images, no paint, no crayon, no glitter, no scents, no perfumes, no layering. And layering we mean taking two postcards and placing them together and taping them together. We have not changed our policy regarding legal mail. All legal mail will be accepted as it was done in the past. Um, and legal mail is defined as that type of correspondence between the inmate and the inmate's attorney or the sheriff, uh, probation, district attorney, uh, state and federal courts, um, and any other law enforcement agency. And those letters will continue to be accepted. Here are some examples of legal mail that will continue to be accepted into our facilities. As you can see, this letter contains the letterhead from the attorney's office. Here's an example of mail that may or may not be deemed legal mail. As you can see, it's hard for us to tell where this letter is coming from. Uh, historically, uh, a person would send a money order or a check inside their letter. Since we no longer accept letters, the obvious question is how do I mail a money order or get this money order to an inmate in custody? Several options. One, they can go on the internet site and certainly utilize uh, the means to electronically deposit money on their account. They also can come to any one of our facilities and deposit the money in person. Uh, a third option may be to contact the inmate's attorney and utilize their attorney to facilitate that whether the attorney comes to our facilities to deposit or the attorney uh, goes on our site to deposit the money for them. We will no longer accept photos via letters. Um, there are a number of ways and a number of companies that provide uh, services to place a photo on a postcard and that would be acceptable. Uh, for example, here's one of a family and being able to get a, photographs into the jails, you can utilize the various companies that place photos on the postcards. Our policy regarding uh, books 
coming from publishers has not changed and that involved and continues to mean that we accept uh, books from authorized publishers such as Amazon.com or Barnes and Nobles so that will continue to remain the same. We do not accept packages uh, such as care packages or packages from family or loved ones. Um, those would be returned to sender. However, you can go to the sheriff's website and order a care package through our commissary. The policy takes effect September 1st, 2012. However, if you have already mailed your letter prior to that and it's postmarked prior to September 1st, we will accept those letters. If you need more information, you can certainly go to the sheriff's website. Uh, the sheriff's, we're on the social network, Facebook, Twitter. Um, and if you can't get to one of those uh, sites, you can certainly call any of the facilities and we will be able to answer any questions you have regarding the inmate mail policy. And here are the direct phone numbers for all of the jails in San Diego County.